And how, as he's doing that, friends, I'll just share. Um, I had studied, uh, my name is Dottie Zoll, and I had uh, encountered Rudolf Steiner's work, um, The Archangel Michael, His Mission and Ours. That was my first book. And I didn't know that there were any people who studied this work. I studied for about eight years by myself until a friend said, oh, do you know there is a branch in LA? I'm like, well, what do you mean? There's people that come together and they said, yes. And they said, there's water schools. I'm like, oh my God, you're kidding me. So I was, I was really surprised, went down to the branch. And what I was looking for was something to do that I found in Rudolf Steiner's fifth gospel around this feminine being and I could not understand because um, I hadn't seen it anywhere else in his work and none of the other anthroposophists that I had encountered now um, could speak. So I went to the library about this being and uh, the first trip I fell in love with the librarian and they brought me to a book and I said, no, that's not my, I don't know that work. I already read that. Um, <laughs> came back the next week uh, and they uh, brought me to the back of the library where books facing against the wall that I might not ever have seen and pulled out a book called The Heavenly Sophia and The Being Anthroposophia. And from this book, I went and read the foreword because I did not know the author. And I said, do you have a membership I'd like to join? So it was through Sergei Prokofiev that I was able to find the Anthroposophical Society uh, and then become a member and uh, begin working with others as well. Eight years ago, in 2013, my mentor crossed the threshold, who was um, a, a beloved of Sergei's, and she felt that when she would die, she would work with Sergei across the threshold. Um, that's what she would say to me. And little did she know, within a year, Sergei himself would be across the threshold. And when she crossed the threshold, I messaged Sergey. this was in 2013, and I said, dear Sergey, we'd like to, um, my mentor crossed the threshold, and we'd like to come to door knock. And he said, please do, I can't support you with the space because I'm not there now, but you can come visit me and your friends at the Swiss Chalet, where I am. And each year I would invite him to say, Sergey, can you come? And he would say, no, I have this care about the Black Sea. And I didn't understand what did he mean he had this care about the Black Sea. So from there, he said, I can't help you. We reached out with the space. We reached out to Peter Selg and also Dr. Michaela Glockler. And we invited them to speak before our group that came February 23rd, 13, speaking with um, the first offering by Rudolf Steiner on the Being Anthroposophia at the founding of um, this movement. And door knock. And so it was 100 years. And um, yeah, so I would say I lost a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm not used to standing up here. But Sergei Prokofiev has been, uh, um, yeah, the most important part of my work in anthroposophy. And I'm really grateful for us coming together and for Peter Sub being here today. And Barbara, a lot of uh, inspiration I had after Jean Goligly had crossed the threshold. Después de la experiencia que tuve. So, nice. um, thank you for being here. Um, and we're, we'll invite Monica Gold to open up with a verse. And then we'll also ask um, Erica if she would read that verse in Spanish. And then also Brigida Baldson will read it in German. And Libertad, if you could then bring us into a hallelujah. And then Vlad Popo will introduce Peter. Thank you so much, dear friends. Blessings on our gathering. For Dr. Rudolf Steiner by Christian Morgenstern. Just as a person on a cloudy day forgets the sun, while it, however, rays and shines continuously, so too one may forget your sun on a cloudy day in order again and ever again, shaken, yes, struck blind to feel how inexhaustibly on and on and on your sun spirit blazes out to us dark wanderers. Uh. 
Ok, gracias. Leyendo. Y ahora, um, we'll go to Libertad for the Hallelujah. Spotlight you. Ok. Muchas gracias. Buenas tardes para todas y todos. Un placer poder compartir este espacio aquí desde Colombia. Soy Libertad Aguilar, eurismista de Colombia. Y con mucho agrado quiero entonces compartir el Aleluya, esta palabra que es como un mantra para entrar en contacto y armonizarnos frente a un encuentro espiritual donde disponemos los corazones a un encuentro de corazón a corazón y donde también como la palabra, las palabras que nos acompañan son nos purificamos de todo aquello que sea un impedimento para el encuentro con lo divino. Entonces, eh, yo lo hago en español. Las invito y los invito a que nos pongamos de pie. Entonces, como teniendo en cuenta estas palabras y esta intención, vamos entonces a, a llevar nuestras manos al corazón. Vamos a conectar con, con esta fuerza del corazonar que nos permite, a pesar de la distancia, sentirnos juntas y juntos y que la palabra dulce atraviese todo este encuentro. Entonces, en un inicio... Voy a, hacer un, voy a hacerlo tres veces. La primera voy a, a, a contar un poco como los momentos que tiene el Aleluya. En la segunda, más imitativo. Y en la tercera ya nos, nos entregamos con toda la confianza al movimiento. Entonces, en el primer momento, la H comienza y la H eh, cierra la palabra también. Entonces, como una exhalación a través de los brazos, soltamos. Y abrimos ese portal al mundo espiritual y irradiamos con una A, creando una ventana de luz, de apertura para este encuentro. Y vamos entonces entrando en nosotras y en nosotros a hacer siete L's. La primera pequeñita y viene desde la tierra como despertando. Esas fuerzas que nos vitalizan y nos hacen sentirnos un puente entre el cielo y la tierra. Y vamos haciendo las L cada vez más grande. Y conectado, esa sensación de tierra, fluidez y cielo. Y vamos subiendo, todavía no tan arriba, paulatinamente. Y ahora sí, la última, grande, grande, grande. Y en todo ese movimiento que hicimos, lo llevamos en una E hacia el cielo como una estrella, como ese punto que conecta el cielo y la tierra a través de nosotros. Y luego soltamos ese punto, esa estrellita, y renovamos toda esa fuerza para potenciarla más espiritualmente. Tres L grandes. Y ya puesto en movimiento toda nuestra intención, nos convertimos en un puente para que esa luz y esa intención fluya entre el cielo y la tierra a través de nosotros. Y esa fuerza universal espiritual con la mano izquierda arriba, la mano del corazón arriba, se, nos, se vuelve individual, encarna en nosotras y en nosotros. Sentimos ese rayo de luz que nos atraviesa, que nos hace seres luminosos desde el corazón. Y abrimos de nuevo ese portal como un agradecimiento y dejamos que esa fuerza actúe. Soltamos hacia atrás con la H. Y regresamos al corazón. Una vez más. Ah. 
Vamos todo ese movimiento a un punto en el cuerpo. Grandes Y una tercera vez, ya intenten no mirarme a mí, sino cada quien conectado con los gestos, con esta intención. Sientan sus corazones, ahí qué tan fuerte quedan latiendo. Esperemos que los hayamos puesto al unísono para escuchar estas palabras tan hermosas que nos van a compartir. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, libertad. Con gusto. Thank you, libertad. So, um, now we're, maybe you can tell about Vlad. Well, invite Vlad who we met in Doorknock in 2013 um, to introduce Peter. Thank you. Good evening, dear friends. Thank you, Doty, for inviting me to present Peter. And uh, Peter Zelg was born in 1963 in Stuttgart. Dr. Sell is a specialist in child and adolescent psychiatry and psychotherapy, teaches medical anthropology and ethics at the University of Witten, Herdeke, and at the Alanus University of Arts and Social Sciences in Alfter. He directs the Ita Wegman Institute for Basic Anthroposophical Research in Arlesheim and is a member of the Goetheanum Executive Board of the General Anthroposophical Section. I think that it's no better choice than Peter to talk in this evening about Sergei. If uh, we know about their spiritual friendship, their mutual support for one another, and uh, how they complete each other in the working from anthroposophy and for anthroposophy. And if you are reading the book about the uh, creative power of Christological anthroposophy, there you can find four themes. 
with conferences by both of them. You can see there how they are working together. And from my point of view, what they both are bringing to us is the culmination of anthroposophy that Rudolf Steiner was expected at the end of the 20th century and the beginning of the 21st century. And Doty, if you remember, when we've been together in Dornach in 2013, and Peter gave us a beautiful lecture about the destiny of the um, Mikhail uh, community, how highly he talked about Sergei, saying that we still have a chance in this world because we have Sergei among us. And uh, by becoming friends with uh, Peter, he told me a lot of stories about how they work together, about their friendship. And it's amazing. And uh, after uh, reading uh, Peter's book about the relationship between uh, Rudolf Steiner and Christian Morgenstein, I, I could better understand their relationship. And I want to finish with a quotation from that book, a quotation from Marie Steiner. Their complete understanding of each other and those two great spirits passing into each other, creating an atmosphere percept perceptible to all that had the bearing force and radiated hope for the future. I think this described the relationship between Peter and Sergei. Thank you very much.